Hey, what's going on, guys? Wow. As you guys can obviously read from the title, that's what I'm going to be talking about, all right? My experience meeting and seeing Joe Budden live in person, all right? Um, now, a lot of you may or may not know this, but uh, my favorite artist, at least in the hip-hop category, is Joseph Anthony Budden the third aka Joe Budden all right um you know obviously I saw him in concert two nights in a row at the downtown Santa Ana underground and then the next night at the Roxy Theater all right and yes I did upload the footages all right it's on my channel um wow what can I say you know, the first night I went, I did not have the VIP ticket, so I just went to go, you know, just to see him, and that was it. Not not that it wasn't great, because it was, but because I found out about the Underground concert a bit too late, um, VIP tickets were, you know, all gone. However, I did go to the VIP at the Roxy Theater. Um, you know, both nights were great. You know, the the crowd was more live in the first uh, concert at the Underground versus the one at, at the Roxy. However, I liked the venue at the Roxy better, but the crowd was not, not as alive at the Roxy as they were at the Underground. But nonetheless, um, my experience meeting Joe Budden at the Roxy Theater on Saturday, May 28th, 2016. Uh, Doors were open half an hour earlier, so they were open at 7.30 p.m. for the ones who had the VIP ticket to go, you know, meet and greet. Um, I wish I had my camera on um, when I was in there, um, I'm sorry, when I was in line about to meet Joey, I wish I had my camera ready because as soon as I got in the line to go, you know, I'm sorry, as soon as, as soon as the doors opened to go in line, and mind you, I was in the far back of the line, so, like, looking to my left, I was able to see the door where Joe would come out of. But I wasn't expecting him to come out that quickly. Within the first two minutes of me getting in line is when Joe Budden came out. And then when Joe came out, I told him, I'm like, Joey, it's me, fam, two nights in a row. And then he just looked at me and said, hey... That's my guy right there. <laughs> and then um, as he was walking off, you know, obviously he can't see me anymore because he's, you know, walking to the area where he has to meet and greet his fans. I kid you not, and I wish I had this on camera. Oh, my God. Despite 30 people in line, I did not care. I just, I, you know, moved a bit to the left. So let's say this is the line. I came right here. I came out of the line, like about two feet out. And I was like, Joey. Don't you, don't you ever forget, you're the black M&M, right? You, you can tell Marshall I said it. And if you guys don't know who Marshall is, that's Eminem's first name, obviously. So, after I said that, uh, I, I'm, I'm assuming Joey kept his composure, but the fans in line, at least half of them, started giggling and, you know, laughing with me as if to show, like, as if to say, wow, this guy's a real fan right here. And then, um... When I finally meted meted him, or I'm sorry, bleh, meted him. <laughs> when I finally met him, um, meaning when it was my turn to go shake his hand and meet him and whatnot, um, before I before I even got a chance to shake his hand, he was like, "Oh, this is my guy right here." And then I just gave him the biggest dab ever, like it was that loud, you know, the 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 handshake, um, and I took like all my time to um with him, you know, I took a good minute to minute and a half, you know, because I, I had a lot to, I had a lot to get off my chest. I told him, Joey, you know, you inspire me, you know, you really inspire me to do what I do on the daily, you know, I told him that your music is what keeps me going, and I told him that, that he beat Hollow the Dawn in the rap battle from 2014, I'm not sure if you guys are into battle rap, but he beat Hollow two to one, the first two rounds um, off of his lyrics alone, you know, I don't care about the judges, I don't care about you know, the fact that the fact that he put the mic down in the third round, uh, 
And yeah, I told him, I said, look, you, you beat Hollow two to one. And he said, yeah, I didn't, I didn't care about the third round. And I'm like, fair enough, because nonetheless, I told him clearly, clearly that bar for bar, meaning lyric, for, I'm sorry, lyric after lyric, he beat him 2-1, which was in the first two rounds. If you guys dispute that, that's fine. Um, but uh, let me show you guys some pictures I took with him. Not me, but the the person that was in front of Joey, uh, who I suppose was the was an employee there at the Roxy Theater in Los Angeles. Um, he, uh, he was the one that was taking the, taking the pictures, all right? Um, here it is. If the camera will focus, that'll be a good thing. Well, it doesn't want to focus right now, but, uh, give me a quick sec, guys. Let me see if I can lower the brightness so it'll focus better. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Well, that one doesn't want to focus, but that's the other one. There we go, kind of. And I, I told the guy that was holding my phone to take pictures while, while um, you know, while being in the moment. All right. And Joby was so he was such a warm-hearted man. I mean, like I felt his warmth soon as I, you know, shook his hand and was having a genuine combo with him and I was able to tell that, you know, this guy's really paying attention to what to what I'm telling him and just look at his face. Look at that. Look how focused Joey is on my combo. The reason why I have two fingers up is because um this was a moment where I told him that I told him that he beat Hollow the Don uh two to one. Alright. This is one of my favorite picks right here. All right, this was the, this was after I was done meeting him, and yeah, all that good stuff. And then um, uh, what was I gonna say? I have this footage uploaded too. Um, when the concert was over, you know, I waited outside to see him, maybe even greet him yet again, um, and, uh, which I kind of did, and, uh, I told him, you know, I was screaming in front, in front of the Sunset Boulevard, Los Angeles, you know, I was just like, I was just showing my, the, the stan in me came out, right, yes, I am a button stan, I will not lie, um, you know, I, Told him that you know what, give the black and then hold on. Here we go, guys. I'm I'm gonna show you guys the footage right now. All right, I just hope it's not too loud. All right, here we go. Oopsie. I'm so sorry about that, guys. Very sorry about that. Alright, so <laughs> that's that, and I'm sorry that my phone fell down while I was showing you guys that. But, um, yeah, I told them. I screamed, I screamed out loud on my Joey. Remember, fam, you're the black Eminem. You're top five, dead or alive. F what nobody says. Excuse my French. I did drop an F bomb, um, which was somewhat out of my character. I did not uh, mean to do that, but yeah, 
uh, that's my experience. When he left, I was saddened. The, you know, the next day I woke up, I was pretty sad. I'm like, man, Joey left. Like, because to me, he felt like, I mean, it felt like an older brother I never had, but always wanted in a way. And when he finally showed up to LA, you know, to perform, you know, those two nights, um, and then he left. It's like, man, you know, you finally showed up and now you're gone. I just, uh, yeah, you know, like I said, I'm, I was kind of saddened. I'm kind of over it now after seven days or so. But nonetheless, um, I was a bit saddened, even though, again, I got over it. But, uh, you know, more than half the music I listen to on the daily is Joe Budden. Um, and that's because I can relate to a lot of his you know, lyrics, you know what I mean, and I told him that too in the VIP meet and greet, you know, I'm like, I, I, I listen to you all day, you're the reason why I, you know, love hip-hop, and you're the reason why I, you know, I continue to strive every day, because I know that someone out there is going through the stuff that I've gone through and whatnot, slash going through, um, but uh yeah you know that's my joe button experience um oh one last thing before i forget uh i got a signed t-shirt from him all right so give me one sec let me show you guys that right there uh it cost me 20 dollars to get this in the vip room all right it's a face of joey it says ny new york and he signed it joe button thx on the bottom which stands for thanks and yes, I did upload the video to this as well, him signing it right in front of my face. Um, you, can, you guys can go ahead and check that out. All right, it's in my video. Uh, it's on my channel, I should say. All right, it says 2016, the final tour. I went to the one at Santa Ana and Los Angeles. All right. He has more coming up, obviously. Um, and no, I have not worn this, uh, this will be going in a, in a, uh, in a shirt cover, alright, um, as soon as I can go and, uh, pick one out of my closet, the reason why I did not put it in there yet is because I was going to show it to you guys, alright, but it's going to go in there right now, alright, in a shirt sleeve, um, So yeah, guys, uh, I hope he comes, so I hope I'm able to attend one of his next concerts as well. Um, I just hope that that was not the final tour. I talked to some people at the venues, venues, they said no, it's probably not his final tour because, you know, he told the people to make that shirt and to write the final tour on it just for, you know, business purposes. So it can sell pretty quickly, you know, and people will assume that it's his last tour, which I want to believe it's not, but you never know. And, uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. It's my experience with Joe Budden. Um, you know, I was uh, pretty ecstatic overall, <laughs> to say the very least, guys. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about that. And again, I'm sorry for dropping the phone while I was, you know, showing you guys the pictures. I mean, the video. Um, and yes, my desktop background is me and Joe Budden. Give me one second. I'll show you guys that right now. Okay. Hold on a second. I know it's pretty bright, hence why it's not really focusing that well, but you guys have seen that same pic on my phone. Alright. Nonetheless, guys, uh, subscribe, rate, comment, all that good stuff. And, um, yeah, I'll gladly get to you guys soon. Alright. That's all she wrote.